Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing my 158th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of the Pink Skulls Chaos Club Gig From Hell Edition. So taking a look at the front of the box, we can see some really cool artwork of the Pink Skulls with that exclusive sticker on the top right. And if we look at the top of the box, we can see Alfred Hitchcock, Frankenstein's monster, and is that Joey Ramone totally rocking out in a mosh pit? And if we flip it to the other side, oh my god, is that Steve Urkel moshing? That's really fun and really awesome. But probably the coolest part, if you actually open up the box, it actually forms a diorama stage set, which I think is super dope with an awesome background of the Pink Skulls logo, speakers, a floor mat with a chalk outline, bottles, and a rug, and all kinds of garbage. I think that's just really cool for an awesome display piece, and it really reminds me of the Hazard Gomas that we got, where the box fully opened into a full-on dial. That's awesome, man, and Mezco really killed it with that. All right, guys, so before I show off the actual figure here, uh. It is worth noting that I think this is so cool that they actually added real vinyl records to this, which is insane. Uh, so you got the Pink Skulls Chaos Club up there, and you got the characters on here, and damn, I would love for them to release an actual vehicle like this. I would buy that in a heartbeat. And you got, oi, 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 I think it's super dope. The artwork looks great. On the back here, you got some really cool imagery. You got some mezzets right here pulling out a dead body, or they're putting the dead body in the trunk of the car. I don't know, uh, but I love this right here too. I think the titles of the tracks are fantastic. You got uh, Numpty Dumpty, D.I.E. Free, Chicken Frank, uh, Club Chaos, Double Jointed Elbows, Secondary Market Suckas, La La La, and The Queen, which I think is rad. You can open this up here, and then again, more imagery looking really, really cool. You got the names of the songs right there. You got some really good, this dude's totally taking a piss and it's actually blowing in the wind right here. You can see this guy with that classic image of the speaker blowing away, his beer flying, and then him, homeboy right here, just wailing on the guitar, which I think is great. And to pull out one of the records right here, you can just pop this out like that. You do get two vinyl records here, and you can pop this out like there, and there you go. There's our actual vinyl record, which I think is super sweet. You got an A and B side, which I think, again, is awesome. I actually have a record player, so I'm definitely going to listen to these. I just think it's super cool that they even gave us something like this. I personally love this. I'm not big on a lot of the extra stuff that we do get with a lot of these figures, but something like a vinyl record with actual music, because I'm a big music buff, Damn, I am so excited for this, and I just cannot wait to listen to all of these. Okay, so now let's take a look at our new Pink Skulls Chaos Club team. Holy crap, I know a lot of people have been clamoring for the original three figures, which I have, and I'll show the comparisons a little later. Uh, but man, I'm, I'm so stoked that they released new versions of them, because I feel like this has been long overdue. And these ones, in my opinion, are far superior to the originals. And in my opinion, might be some of the best that we've ever gotten from Mezco. So I'm going to start off with this guy right here. Uh, and again, I can't remember if they have names. I'm pretty sure they have names. I don't honestly remember. Um, but they're all three different characters. But I love the leather jackets that we're getting with all three characters now looking really good. You got the Pink Skulls Chaos Club logo on the back of the jacket. It looks really nice. I believe this is the same pants that we've seen with the original Skulls. Uh, really nice boots right here with tread on the feet, um, looking really nice. But I absolutely love the new head sculpts that we're getting, and I'll show them they're all different. Uh, but they're definitely more, a little more animated, more expressive. They actually do have articulated jaws, which I think is really cool, so I love that. Uh, this specific guy does have a t-shirt under there with a pink lightning bolt. I think that's super dope, so I love that a lot. I'm going to bring in this guy right here. You can see his different head sculpt, the eyes more wide open, I think are rad. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out with him, he does not have a uh, pink skull, or excuse me, a pink lightning bolt shirt under there. It's just a plain black shirt. We got, do got the same jacket. And for the most part, the figures are the same with the exception of the head and the shirt. Uh, but I also want to point out that the boots are actually different. You can see the difference in the boots right here. Where you can see... Um, these are a little more kind of like Doc Martens. You see the tread on the feet. These are more smooth. These are more like biker boots right here. And you can even see the little flat folding down like that. So it's noted that 
they could have just gave us the same boots for both figures and it wouldn't have been an issue, but they did give us completely different boots to help differentiate the characters, which I genuinely appreciate. So let's put these guys back up here if they actually want to stand. I just gotta lean them back a little bit, but God, these are so much fun. I'm gonna bring up this guy right here in the middle because I think this is my favorite one. Uh, that head sculpt, again, very unique, very different from what we've seen in the past. Uh, a little more squinty eyes, I love the eyeballs in there, it looks really, really cool. He's got the same leather jacket on there, but you can see he does have a hoodie on underneath the jacket, which I think is really cool too. He's rocking leather pants, unlike the other two that are wearing those like tight jeans. Uh, he's also rocking the Mezco Chucks, which look really nice. You got the Mezco logo on the bottom, the pink laces, and you got the Mezco logo on the inside like that. We've seen those on the previous Pink Skulls and a bunch of different Gomez figures and things like that. So I love that a lot, man. I think this one just really stands out to me personally. And homeboy totally fail. Uh, but yeah, man, this is the one for me. I love the way this looks. Again, I think it's because of the leather pants and the chugs. I think that whole look just looks really cool. And again, just so happy to have this set, man. They just killed it with this. So moving on to accessories, we do, of course, get the circular base stands from Mezco, which I always say are my favorite stands in uh, action figures. The artwork looks amazing with the different skulls on there just laughing their butts off. Uh, and one's thinking about a dead pig. I kind of know what that means, so <laughs> either way, this looks super cool. And of course, we do get the clear articulated arms, so you got three of these, one per figure. Next up, we get over 40 interchangeable hands. Yeah, you heard that right. We get all kinds of things, which is insane for a set like this. We, of course, get the closed-fisted hands that come on the figures. But we also get different types of gripping hands, loose open palm hands, stylizing posing hands. We get hands that are flipping the birds, hands that are meant to hold weapons and their instruments. Uh, we get hands that are rocking out and surf sub kind of hands, saluting hands, anything you could possibly need for your display. Next up, we get six more interchangeable heads on top of the three we already get on the figures. Uh, the three on the left are the exact same skulls we've seen on the previous Pink, pink Skulls set. Uh, they're just on a little bit of a more vibrant, brighter pink, but it's really cool that we're getting those exact same skulls again. Again, these are for the people that have maybe have missed the first releases, uh, but the three skulls on the right are awesome because they're the exact same style of skulls, but these ones are more expressive. They have different facial features and just looks to them, which I think is really cool because you can really add different displays and more again more expressive looks for your characters so I love the fact they even included those as well Next, we get all kinds of really awesome headwear. Uh, starting from the top left, it seems we get like a leather motorcycle type helmet, which is really nice. To the right of that, we actually do get a leather football helmet. And I can't believe we actually used to wear leather helmets for protection, which is ridiculous. Uh, but we also do get a really nice golden crown, which I think is awesome. And then the hockey mask is probably one of my favorite accessories. That thing is really cool too as well. And on the bottom, we do get seems to be a derby. Uh, the three in the middle are more like bicycle or some motorcycle type of uh, caps are really nice and the one on the right is more of a standard cap as well looks like a leather type of cap but all these bands again so many options i will never complain about that we also do get some eyewear, uh, so we do get two sets of motorcycle goggles with a little elastic strip, so those look really nice too, uh, with little clear lenses. And then we get three pairs of actual shades. Uh, why we didn't get a third set of goggles is a little weird, but still, all of these are really awesome and a lot of fun. Next up, we do get a sheet of vinyl stickers here, which I think look really rad. Uh, you can peel these off and put them on their jackets to act, act like patches and things like that, which is really cool. I love the, the fact that they gave these options. Uh, they've done this before, and I think it's always really, really cool. So you got things like PCC, Punk's Not Dead, I Am, things like that, Rumble Society, uh, Sex Squirrels. <laughs> Is that what that is? That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, more Rumble Society. Different Pink Skulls logos, which I think is really cool, too. Uh... Chicken Frank, you got the uh, skeleton flipping the bird, uh, Mizzitz, that's pretty nice, Route 69, the puking mouth, uh, that word, uh, Foo, you know, if you want Foo right on there, and Destroy Power, things like that. This is just really cool, man. I love the fact that we get all these options. Uh, you do get three full sheets of this, so that's really rad, too. We also do get a really nice boa right here, so if you're in more of the glam rock and things like that, this is really nice. Uh, it is noted this is actually on a bendy wire, so you can pose this around. So if you want to dress up your characters a little bit, I think this is really rad as well. We also do get a secondary type of jacket, which I think is cool. A simple plain black jacket, which is really nice. 
I love it. It's more with a button. I'm going to have all the feathers from the bow on this. You see that? That's crazy. It does flake a bit. Uh, but this is more like a button down type of jacket or maybe a long sleeve shirt, however you want to make it look. But I think this is really rad too. So that works out great if you want to have some different options. What I think is super genius is that they included the original shirts here uh, from the Pink Skulls, those striped shirts that came with the original figures. I think that's awesome. So if you want to change this look and have them look a little more traditional, you can do that with those. Uh, same thing with the little checkered bandanas right here as well. Again, straight from the original figures. So I think it's really cool that they even gave us those options. So now we don't get an actual ton of weapons here, but we do get a few. Uh, we got this right here, the Beamer, which I think is really rad. The sculpt on this is awesome. You can even see some dry blood on there, which is really cool. And you can still see some of that boa stuff on my fingers. Man, that stuff will not go away. But this looks great, man. This is a cricket bat that looks awesome. The sculpt looks great. A little dead and cracks in there as well. The handle looks awesome too, so I dig that a lot. Uh, we do get an AK-47 because these guys are freaking packing heat, which I think is great. Uh, the banana clip does come out like so, so you can't do that. Uh, we do get two of the banana clips, so I love that a lot. And then we also do get a bomb like so, a uh, bat bomb, if you will. Uh -huh. I said it did. That wasn't a funny joke, was it? I apologize. Uh, but it's really cool. The wick right here uh, is interchangeable, so you can take that off like so. And then you can put on this one like that to make it look like it's more ignited. I think that's genius, man. That looks really rad and really happy they did that. Uh, but we also get a crate, which I think is cool. Um, this is great just for 112 accessories for dial builders and things like that. You know what I mean? It looks dirty. It looks like a real actual crate. So I love this a lot. And, you know, and you could take some of your accessories and just store them in there, you know what I mean, for whatever you want to do. And I think that's great if you want to just have this on display and where you can keep a bunch of the accessories in the crate and they'll stay there just fine. So I love that they gave that to us. I kind of just wish they had a second one, maybe even a third. So we do have a tray here filled with all kinds of really cool accessories. Uh, you can see we do have six drumsticks, which is really nice. And I love the fact when they give us really small accessories, but they give us multiple just in case some break or get lost, which is going to happen. So that's really nice. Uh, we do seem to get some cigarettes, maybe some cigarweed. I'm not really sure. Either way, those are really nice. We do get some standard ones. That we also do get some ones with the little smoke effects coming off them as well. Those are really nice. Uh, towards the middle, we do get a gold and silver chain, which are actual metal chains. So that's really nice. And they got a little medallions on the gold one or a little padlock on the silver one which is really cool too as well we could do different different uh, excuse me we do get different types of liquor bottles which are really nice and those are nicely printed with the little labels on them they're a nice translucent plastic those work as well uh, a little beer bottle below that and a little brown effect pieces and we do get a six pack of beer cans which is really nice uh, but it's also interesting that we actually do get beer can effects so that's something pretty awesome so if we actually take one of those beer cans, we actually get options with the beer cans, which I think is really cool. Uh, so you can get this little like piece right here that we saw, uh, and this will actually clip in the little open mouth or mouth piece right there. Uh, where it comes out and you can make it look like it's like foaming uh, you know maybe it's just coming out like so I think that's super dope that they even gave us an option like that. That's crazy or they gave us this one right here. It's a little tricky. It actually pegs into the thing like that. So when like when you're cracking open the can and it's kind of like spraying out a bit, I think that's genius, man. Again, this is the stuff where Mezco shines. I mean, how many other companies gave us give us beer can accessories with attachments? That's crazy and super rad. So now we're going to move on to the musical instruments and the musical aspects of this set here too. Uh, we're going to start off with the music stand, which I think is really rad. As you can see, uh, this just plugs in, but we got the base of that right there with the Pink Skull logo, Rumble Society, New York Hardcore, which I think is rad. And look at all that underneath right there. You got the Mezco logo, Anarchy, the Skulls, Rumble Society, all that. So it almost looks like a sewer lid cover, which I think is rad. Uh, and then all this stuff has to be assembled. You got different pipes and bars and things like that. Uh, and you got to little adjust the mic stand like so. But I think it's really cool. Even the mic right here itself does come off like that. Uh, and you can pop that on so you can hold it separately if you want. See how it comes in pieces? I like that because you can adjust it however you want. You can curve it up like that. This is on a ball pick, so that rolls around. So you can do whatever you want, all kinds of different options with this, which I think is super dope, man. I love that a lot. 
Moving on to the guitar here, I think it looks rad because I love the little hands, little rock hands like that, which looks awesome. All the strings are fully painted. Uh, this one is missing a little screw right there. You can see it's kind of kind of a little dirty and a little beat up. Uh, you got a sculpt on the back of there, right like that. Um, if I could read what that actually says, I don't know what that says. Jo join Nico and Crash? I don't know what that says. So if you could know what that says, uh, please let me know because I'm semi-blind uh, and I cannot read that but again still looks really cool I love how it's kind of like stitched together with band-aids and staples and things like that I think it's really cool and then you get a pleather like strap that you can adjust so I think that's really really awesome same thing with the bass guitar which I think is rad too I love this man you got the whole skull on there and the skull is fully sculpted on there it's not just painted which I think is rad you got a little pink uh, lightning bolt on there the bone screws at the top right here. The strings are all fully painted. You got a lightning bolt on the back. You can see there's some dents and nicks and things like that. Again, with that same pleather like strap, which again, just looks so dope, man. I love the fact we're getting instruments. More stuff like this, Mezco. I would even be down for like a whole instrument set, like an accessories pack of different type of instruments and things like that. Is that just me? Because I think that'd be really, really cool. So in my opinion, probably the best accessory for me, um, the fact that we got this really awesome drum set is just super dope. You can see the whole bass drum right here looks really rad, but you can see how it's kind of like taped and things like that. Um, I actually had a drum set when I was a kid and some of the skins would get a little jacked up and we would kind of tape them because we couldn't afford new skins. Uh, so relatable, man, relatable. But this has to be pieced together too. Even the wrenches right here on the side <clears throat> are separate pieces. So you could take those off and just use them as wrenches. But they are meant to be like stands to hold up the actual bass drum, which I think is really good. And all the sculpt in here is just crazy good, man. You see all the nicks and scratches and things like that. Again, more tape and band-aids holding the bass drum together, which I think is really cool. Uh, the snare does plug in as well. All this stuff can be adjustable and things like that. But you can see again how the skins are a little <laughs> not, not the best, but I love how this all looks. Same thing with the symbol. This whole arm attachment again is adjustable. Uh, it's on a ball peg up here at the top of the symbol like that. That can be adjusted as well. And that looks really nice, man. They even sculpted that symbol just like damn near perfectly. I think this just looks so freaking awesome, man. I love this set. But one of the coolest things to this, you actually get a foot pedal right here for the bass drum, which I think is, again, genius. Uh, it's actually made of like a, what do they call the foot sizing, foot sh uh, shoe sizers, whatever you want to call those things. I think that's super dope. Um, looks like some kind of like maybe a pedal for from a car. And then the strap right here, the black strap, it looks like it's like a timing belt from a car. That's interesting. And then you got an eight ball on there too. But what's the best part? It actually freaking functions, dude. Like why? I don't know. But I mean, if you want to, like it's actually a functioning foot pedal because Mezco was like, you know what, let's just make it functioning for whatever reason. That is insanely cool. I love things like this. Again, things like this, in my opinion, is where Mezco really, really shines. So now moving on to the articulation, I'm just gonna use this, guys. They're all basically the same thing. Uh, the head and the neck are on separate ball pegs, so you get a lot of good motion right there. Rolls all the way around, does turn left and right up that far, down that much, and then pivot side to side like so. Uh, it is noted that the necks are actually pink, whereas the original skulls were actually black with like a pink vertebrae, but the necks on these ones are all pink. Of course, you get the articulated jaw like I've showed before. That works out really nice. Arms can go all the way up that far, even with the jacket and the shirt on, forward and up back like so. We got rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbows that work very nicely. Rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist, so you can do a lot of good stuff there. We get double ball pegs in the midsection that goes up into the chest and then down in the crotch area, so that rolls around very nicely. Does turn left and right, crunches back and forth, and pivot side to side. Hip joints to kick forward up that much, back about there, splits out about that much, rotation at upper thigh, double jointed knees. Uh, we got an ankle joint that so seems like be a little bit of a ball peg, so that rolls around, rotates up and down, and a slight ankle rocker, even though there's no ankle rocker since the boot is so high, uh, it only does a little bit. So overall, I freaking love these figures, man. Holy crap, these might be, again, some of the best that Mezco has ever put out. They just kill it with the Rumble Society stuff. I love the whole music aspect of these figures. And man, if you're a Mezco collector, these pink skulls are a definite must get. 
So for a quick size comparison, here are the Pink Skulls standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here you are standing next to the First Relief Pink Skulls Chaos Club figures. And just for fun, here they are with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Pink Skulls Chaos Club Gig From Hell Edition. And damn, this set is freaking impressive. Mezco really goes all out when it comes to Rumble Society, and the Pink Skulls figures are some figures that a lot of people didn't get on or who relate to the line really sucks because they have to pay those aftermarket prices, and this really gives them an option to have a new version, an updated version of the Pink Skulls Chaos Club. And this set is ridiculous, man. First of all, the figures themselves are beautiful. I love the addition of the new skull heads, especially the ones with the articulated jaws and the eyes. I think those are so well done. The soft goods are just beautifully executed. Uh, I love the articulation and all these figures that Buck that they use for these is just perfect. But the accessories, man, the accessories are insane from all the different really cool instruments that are just so beautifully detailed to even the box that transforms into a stage is insane. The few weapons that we do get are beautifully detailed. All the different hands, the different heads, the different eyewear, the different headwear, the different clothing. I mean, it's just crazy to think how much Mezco really packed into the set. And they even gave us actual music. They got people to record actual songs and give us actual vinyl records, which is super awesome. And if you don't have a record player, you can still digitally download them. They even give you a, a little code for that. So this set is insane. It is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen from any company, not just Mezco. I love these so much, and in my opinion, they would look great in any of your collections. So be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.